we've got another a movie review, uh, which I haven't done a um, movie review or even a DVD review. I'm going to review the official Terror Optics Studios double feature, our first two full-length features on one DVD. It's Attack of the Cockface Killer and Stabbed in the Face. There's actually two separate discs. And uh, I got these from my good buddy Derek. Hey, Derek. Um, he came over last week. Is, it, is this being filmed? He let me borrow. Let me borrow this. Gorgasm and Grime Wave. Which uh, he said they're like sequels to Attack of the Cockface Killer. And he said, you know, he knows what kind of movies I like. And he's like, you'll, you'll, I'm sure you'll like them. And I just finished watching Stabbed in the Face. And Attack of the Cockface Killer, I mean, it's super low budget. I mean, it looks like they filmed it with the... Uh, I mean, it looks to me, it looks like a video camera, but I don't think it was a video camera, like a VHS one. But it, it was pretty good. I mean, at this level of filmmaking, you know, I didn't expect... Uh, you know, good acting or good special effects or anything really but it, you could tell that uh, they had a good time making it what what is surprising though is the beginning of attack of this cock face killer there's a couple having sex and it looks like they're really doing it so that you know just starts out it's shocking music is good it's just underground music uh, the, the killer himself, he's called that because he has like a dildo hanging from his chin. And he was good. Whoever played him, he, he seemed to you know, get into it. And it really, it kind of did seem like a crazy girl. You know, he at least he's acting crazy. He doesn't, he has no dialogue. He grunts and squeals a lot. And he has like assless pants. There's a lot of, there's a lot of nudity. There's a lot of sex. There's, uh, after the beginning, there's, there's like a party scene in, uh, there's a guy getting a blowjob, and that's real. There's a, a lot of good good stuff in here. The, the killings are pretty good. You could tell they tried tried to have gore. Special effects are pretty good, or as low budget as it looked. And uh, I guess this Terra Optics studio, you know, they're just it, it's really just a, seems like a bunch of friends who love horror movies because in in the, in Cockface killer, you know, you, you see like the bedroom is just covered in horror movie posters and you know, music, metal, punk, just everything. You can tell they're really enthusiastic about you know all the stuff they're all the same stuff that I like. So which made it a, a you know enjoyable viewing experience. And uh, the acting, you know, it's bad, but it's not that bad. There's so many people. That, Whoever made this have a lot of friends to, and what they get their friends to, to do in here is pretty crazy. So overall, uh, Attack of the Cockface Killer, it was pretty good. Stabbed in the face is I, I thought it would be more of the same, but it's totally different. They you know, they really tried to do, you know, like a low budget '80s slasher, but you know, with what, whatever they could cobble together, and it was, it, they played it seemed a little more serious. And not as many characters, and the acting, the acting was fine. I thought um, there's a, a part in Stab in the Face where they tell like the story of this lady, the, the three-legged woman who kills her husband. That part was pretty good because she seemed really crazy, like a really crazy lady that they got to to play the role. I don't know who she was, but just the way she talked, the way she acted, she really did seem. Um, crazy. So that, that was a good scene. And then uh, there's, uh, you know, finally when the killings do start, there was some, I thought there was some good kills. Uh, actually, there was one that did surprise me. And, it, and it, the, end in it, the ending was good. Maybe, I think it was a little long, stab in the face. Could have been like just a little shorter. Maybe even if it would have been just like an hour, that would have been a lot better. Um, but overall, I, I did, I did like Attack of the Cockface Killer and Stabbed in the Face. 
Um, you can tell they really love horror movies. They're really trying, you know, to do something. And have, it looks like they had fun. It's TerraOptics.com. I, I did go to their website, um, but I really didn't look at it. I just wanted to see if it was actually even still there. Um, my buddy Derek, he said he got this uh, horror convention. They had a table set up, and even when he came over, he had the shirt too. And uh, but I thought I would like it. Me and Derek's tastes are very similar. And it was just actually I'm glad that he came over. I hadn't seen him. He hadn't been over in a while. So it was just cool to hang out with Derek and talk to him. And talk, you know, I see him at shows, and it's so loud sometimes we don't get to talk as much as we as we like. And we just He's hanging out, just we're talking about horror movies and movies we'd seen, you know, when we were kids and stuff. So it was great. Derek's one of the few people that I know that I could talk to like that and share memories. And we're talking about when we like, saw Nightmare and what Nightmare movies we saw in the theater. And, you know, J Jason. I, actually, I didn't see any Friday the. I, I saw Jason X in the theater, and it almost kind of doesn't count. But it was just cool that Derek came over and let me these. And I finally watched, uh, you know, I watched Attack, like right when he gave it to me, pretty much. And I just watched Stab in the Face right now. And uh, so I'm going to watch uh, Gorgasm and then Grime Wave. Is, they're all, I guess it's like a trilogy. And they look really cool. I, um, when I do the re reviews of those, which I'll you know, definitely review, you know, the covers are really cool. You can just look them up. And the Terra Optics Studios people, you know, it's a really good effort. Uh, I really, I did enjoy it. So thank you for making that, and thanks for watching. And a lot more reviews to come. And uh, I'll see you later. Okay, bye everybody.